All right, we're live with Bob Arum. So, Bob, obviously we wanted to talk about Terrence Crawford, a rising star in the top-ranked stable, and it's uh, rumored that he will be taking on Chris Algieri for the vacant WBO that once belonged to Algieri. Could you uh, give us any details as to how far along these negotiations are? Well, I've been talking to uh, his promoter, Joe DeGuardia, uh, all la last week, a number of conversations, and we had uh, one uh, about an hour ago. So we're trying to work out a resolution of this so we can do the fight uh, either in March or April. Now, from what I'm being told, there seems to be some hesitance on the side of Algeria because he's looking to train head tra change head trainers, and uh, he doesn't know if it's the right move to be in a new fight, uh, a big fight, rather, with Terrence Crawford with the new trainer. Well, that's okay. If, if that's the case, then uh, uh, he, he, he may be wise to pass on the Crawford fight, let Crawford fight somebody else for the title, and then if Crawford wins, have Crawford contractually obligated to fight him for the title. What would be that's Crawford? One, that's that's one of the 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 things we've we've discussed. Yes. Now, what would be Top Rank's option if Algeri is not the uh, option for this fight? Who would be oh, the well, that's option? What, for... That's what we're talking to the WBO about. Would you know what happened to Ruslan? I mean, it was rumored that Ruslan and Matisse would be getting that WBO vacant title eliminator shot. No, there was a, that's not going to happen. And uh, since we're on the 140-pound division, could you give me a little bit on Jesse Vargas and what's his next step now that he's... Uh, well, that's what we... Uh, that we're, I'm scheduled to talk to Cameron uh, Duncan, his manager, uh, later today. So I really don't know about his status now until I talk to Cameron. And uh, has everything been settled with uh, Mikey Garcia? Would we be seeing him back in the ring for 2015? We hope so. We hope so very soon, yes. First quarter or second quarter, Bob? Well, if it's second quarter, it'll be early second quarter. Okay. And uh, obviously, uh, you know, I don't know what you can or can't say, but a lot has been said over the past couple of days with the Manny Pacquiao and uh, uh, Floyd Mayweather negotiations. Are, are there any updates that you can give the readers? We're just trying to get it done, man. We're just trying to get it done. There are issues. We're trying to get them solved. And, uh, uh, but, you know, it's, it's very, very hard. We can't give a running dialogue in the middle of things. That's just not appropriate. Uh, is is one of the roadblocks, uh, the rumor is uh, the replay of the broadcast. Is that no, one of the No, 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 no. That's all bullshit. That's not true. That's so as far true. as you're concerned, everything is squared away with the networks and it's more a fighter situation? Yeah. I think I would think that would be accurate, yeah. Now, now, Bob, obviously you get scrutinized in the media a lot for saying uh, certain things, uh, your opinion of Mayweather or whether or not he wants this fight. Most recently you came out and said that you do believe that he wants to fight after the uh, the encounter at the basketball game. But how well, that's what, that, that's what my people told me, that they, they talked to him. He came over to the hotel room, and they believe he wanted to fight. Yes. So I was just repeating what I've been told. I wasn't there. And that leads me to my question. How close is the president, the owner of Top Rank, involved in this uh, fight and it being made? Or is it a thing where you've stepped to the side because you know you and Mayweather obviously do not get No, along? I'm the one that's handling the Top Rank part of the negotiation. I mean, the, the idea that I step aside is is like ludicrous. I mean, where did that come? Who else are they going to talk to? Well, it, it would just seem that way because some of the statements coming from one side are contradicting uh, Mayweather's most re uh, recent report with FightHype.com. I, I, I can't get involved in that. All I'm saying is that this is in the middle of the negotiations and uh, – and hopefully we'll get it, get everything resolved. 
All right, my last couple of questions is obviously they were saying that this fight doesn't need a big buildup because of the magnitude and the magnitude of the two men. Do you feel that way, or do you still feel that this fight needs an all-access or a 24-7 style series to promote oh, this fight? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. There are other ways that you can attract attention in this day and age, social media and so forth, where more people are tuned in than, than the the old way of doing it. Now, you've been around for a long time, and you've produced and promoted some pretty big events. If you had to give a general estimation, what do you think the pay-per-view numbers for a Mayweather-Pacquiao would do? Make I, I have absolutely no idea how well it would do, except I would clearly say that it would do extraordinarily well. What that number is, I don't know, because we haven't been in this kind of territory before. Do you expect it to break any previous records? Yes. And uh, with Miguel Cotto, it seems like the world thought he was waiting for a possible rematch. Obviously, you're saying you're in negotiations for a Pacquiao Mayweather fight. Where does that leave Miguel Cotto now that Canelo has signed a fight? Uh, Kirk? I, I suggest you talk to his advisor, Gabby Benegarikina, who uh, is in contact with Cotto every day and uh, is better able to answer that question than I am. All right. Uh, well, Bob, you know, it's hard to get you. So my very last question is, of course, Zuldo Gilberto Ramirez, uh, he was in Denver, put on a pretty decent yeah. performance. Uh, seems right. that he may need a couple of more fights to get into the rim of, rhythm right. of things. Uh, who do you see? What do you think is next for him? Well, we're going to try to move him as quickly as we can to fight for a world title. So... We'll have to see what's available in the coming months, and we'll match it accordingly. All right, I got to get off. All right, Bob. Thank you. Thank you.